everyone and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. So today I'm making a cat cafe here in Brindleton Bay and I just did this because I really wanted to make some kind of community lot for Brindleton Bay and the obvious choice would be to make a vet clinic because that's a new kind of community lot we got with cats and dogs but for whatever reason I wasn't quite in the mood to make a vet clinic although I will definitely be making one of those or probably two or three of those in the future because I do plan on starting a vet let's build soon, um, probably at some point after the current let's build I have going on ends because I do have a couple more parts of that, I need to finish that, and then after that I'll start a vet, vet let's build, then probably also make a vet in a speed build, but um, anyway, yeah, I, I just didn't really feel like making that for whatever reason, then I also thought about making a seafood restaurant, but I've also made several restaurants, but I haven't really made a whole lot of cafes, I think I've only made one or two cafes before, so I thought that would be a really fun kind of lot to make and I just felt like it really suited Brindle to Bay because it's just this very cozy little seaside town. I felt like having a cozy little cafe to take your sims to for them to hang out at would be really nice. And since, you know, this was a pets expansion pack, I figured incorporating animals into that would be perfect. So here we are making this little cat cafe. Um, the only problem is though, the only problem though is that you can't quite make a real cat cafe because usually at cat cafes they have resident cats there that people play with and all that and they could potentially adopt but you can't have resident cats at a community lot so to kind of make it feel that way I did give it the lot traits that will hopefully draw more cats to it because there was one that makes it so owners are more likely to bring their cats here and then there's another one that makes it more likely for strays to come here so I'm hoping that by using those cats, a bunch of cats will flock to here and it'll feel like a cat cafe, but I'm kind of worried it's actually not going to work out like that because I was testing out a little bit and unfortunately the only cats who came here were the cats of the family I was using, but it was also a fresh save so maybe that's part of it because um, when I did play it for a little bit it was when I was trying to get all the footage for the end of the video and you will notice that I did use some sims from my cats and dogs let's play but I didn't actually do that all in that save file, I just did it in a different save file because I didn't want to risk messing anything up with my let's plays. And I'm just thinking, I'm just hoping that maybe so few cats showed up because it was just a fresh save so there weren't really cats, you know, many cats in it. Because I don't think the families that come with the front, well, you have Cat Arena who has like four cats, but I don't know. I'm just hoping it's better in the actual game, but I'm kind of worried that that's not going to be the case. And the only cats who are there are just going to be whatever cats you bring, but... Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping it's better because I did actually want to use this in my Let's Play because I just really wanted somewhere fun for the Sims to go to and hang out. So I'll probably put that to use in the next part of that Let's Play. Oh, and speaking of Katarina Lynx, the lot I'm building this on was a lot that used to be her house. So yeah, I just kind of kicked her off of that and then used this for that. So when I put this in my Let's Play, I'm not sure where I'm going to plop her, probably in just some other world. But I wasn't planning on, planning on playing with her anyway, so... That's fine, but I just wanted to use this lot because there is the one that the bars on that I could have used, but I wanted to actually keep the bar there. And also, I felt like that lot would be better to use for making a seafood restaurant, you know, rather than a cafe. So I just I just kind of like the location of this particular lot a little bit more, although it is a very small 20 by 15 lot, so this whole cafe is just kind of crammed in here, but that's what I really want. I just wanted this very cozy cramped feeling lot that's kind of got somewhat of a kitschy feel to it so as you'll see once I get further along and start adding more stuff to the exterior of it it just looks very cluttered and there's just like little cat decorations everywhere like on the outside of it I saw like a whole bunch of those cat statues and I was really glad that they added in a whole bunch of different colorings for it because otherwise I just would have had a lot of the same looking thing all over the place but yeah there's a lot of variety with that item so I was able to just recolor them and look like there was a bunch of different looking yeah like right there we've got that little cat statue sitting underneath the cafe sign. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this lot turned out. I just like the very cozy looking feel that it has. So it kind of looks like two buildings that were joined together. And I did actually make a little apartment up above the building that's on the right here. Uh, it's, it's pretty much pointless, but I just, I, I wanted to have a two floor structure, but I didn't want to actually have the cafe go up there. So I just chose to furnish as an apartment so that there wasn't just a bunch of empty space. So I mean, I don't know what you would really use it for when you're actually playing the game. I don't know, I guess if your sim's tired or something like that, you can just have them go up and sleep there. But I think when I actually use this lot, I might take away the gate that leads up there so they don't have sims actually going up there. Because I don't really want sims who are visiting the cafe to just be going up there and sleeping and like using the kitchen and all that to cook. So it's just more so for... 
aesthetic purposes, but I don't know, maybe there might be some kind of use some of you have for that. But yeah, um, as far as like kind of what I did with the inside, one side of it, like the side of it that is blue is more so where you go to get your coffee and that's also where all the tables and chairs are. And then the other side of it is more so supposed to be the cat play area because I was looking at pictures of cat cafes because I've never actually been to one, although I really do want to go to one. And it seemed like some of them were just like, look kind of like a regular cafe, but you just had cat stuff, you know, here and there. And then other ones looked more so like you had couches and coffee tables, and then you just had a bunch of, you know, cat trees and all of that around. Like it looked a little bit less like a regular cat, ca you know, like a regular cafe. So I just kind of combined that. So we've got one side that looks like a regular cafe. And then we've got the other side that's more so just the couches and coffee tables and then the cat trees. So that's kind of where you would go to play with the cat. So things are a little bit open in there. So hopefully this place looks kind of realistic. I was just trying to do my best going off of pictures. Uh, yeah, cause like I said, I haven't been to a cat cafe, but I think there's a few that open up near me. So yeah, I really want to go and check one out at some point, but I imagine that they're kind of busy. Yeah, for a while there weren't any cat cafes around where I lived, but then I think over the past like year or so, there have been a few that have popped up, but I think all of them are at least like an hour drive away from me. And I mean, I have, I have two of my own cats, so like I don't really need to go somewhere else to play with cats, but still, I don't know. I just think it'd be a kind of cool thing to experience. Like if any of you been to cat cafes, like if so, like what are, what are they like? I mean, I imagine that, you know, you just kind of play with cats and it's like hang out with cats, but I don't know if there's anything like kind of different about it than that. So I've been kind of curious about that. But I know if I went to one, I would probably be tempted to take home a cat, but I've already got two, so that's enough. But it is cool that um, from what I've seen at a lot of the cat cafes, you can actually adopt the cats. And that's good because I think most of the time they're adult cats and adult cats, it seems like they don't often get as much of a chance as kittens for being adopted. Because, you know, most people want a little kitten that's, you know, just at the point where they're weaned and you can adopt them. And, you know, older kittens and adult cats tend to be overlooked. So it's good that, you know, it's a place where people can interact with adult cats that are up for adoption and, you know, see that, you know, that's a good option as well. Because I think a lot of the time there's this mindset that if there's an adult cat up for adoption, it's because something, or you know, even adult dogs too, like just adult animals in general, like there's a mindset that they're there because something's wrong with them, like they have a, some kind of behavior issue and that's why they're there for adoption, like that they're damaged goods kind of, which, you know, is really, is really not true. Like, sure, yeah, that might be the case some of the times, but some of the times the situation where they're with too many other pets and they do better in like a one pet household, but if they're in that, you know, one pet household, they'd be perfectly fine. Or, you know, situations where it's nothing behavior related, like their owner had a move or had a significant other who was allergic to cats or dogs and, you know, they had to put them up for adoption. You know, there's there's different unfortunate, unfortunate circumstances that have nothing to do with the animal itself. So it's definitely a good idea to give, you know, adult animals a chance as well instead of just going right to kittens and puppies. But there's just a lot of animals who need to be adopted who would do well when given the chance to be in a loving home. But uh, uh, getting back to the build, right now I'm working on the outside of the little area in front of the cafe, the main cafe part of the building. So I wanted to have string lights around it, but none of the string light items, like the ones that came with City Living or the toddler stuff pack really fit into the space I had. So I just took the ones that came with Parenthood and just kind of stuck them up at, you know, top wall height. And then I used those little poles that came with toddler stuff to look like supports. So yeah, those poles are actually really handy because they just work so well for that kind of a thing, like when combined with the parenthood lights. So yeah, I was glad I was able to put those to use, even if I wasn't able to use the actual string lights that came with that stuff back. But we're finally moving inside. Um, but I did want to just put some little cat stickers on the outside here because I thought that would look really cute if you had little cat theme stickers all over the windows on the outside of the building. But yeah, the the inside of the build wasn't as big as I thought it was gonna be because I thought it was gonna have like plenty of space to put the the little um, counter where they can make the coffee at. But yeah, fortunately it took a bit more space than I realized. So it just kind of shoved into that corner there partially for the bathroom doors, but that's fine. I managed to fit everything, I, everything in. Um, I actually meant originally was planning on having the other side of the building be the main cafe area. And then this side was supposed to be the area that was gonna be like the cat play area, but because I put it how, because of how I put in the doors and windows over in the other building, the I couldn't really find a good space to put in the coffee bar, so I just kind of had to shove it over here. But I think that works out fine anyway because I think it's better to have 
more space in the open area that's supposed to be like the play area and I think that just having the coffee area be you know really cozy and crammed together just works out so well. Oh, and I also stuck that bay window seat in the corner there because I basically made that whole turret just so I could use that seat because I just think it looks so adorable. So it's kind of like this corner seating, although unfortunately they can't actually sit in that to use a table, but I just like it looks like a little bench to go with a table that's in front of it. So that's probably my favorite little corner of this whole cafe. And um, I also realized later that I had to get rid of that little dessert display that's on the left corner of the espresso bar or whatever it's supposed to be called because I think if you so I thought because I raised it up using the move objects cheat that it would be fine and wouldn't cause any issues and was actually being used but apparently it does because I was play testing it a little bit and whenever they would make something it would just literally get stuck to their hand so I kept having all these sims order stuff and I would progressively have like more and more things get stuck to the the barista's hand, which was kind of funny because they had like cups and plates stuck to their hand, but also like no one was getting their food and it was glitching out like crazy. And then when I would go to, you know, like delete the bar and then undo the deleting, all the all these plates would pop up like all over the floor. So yeah, I did get rid of that for uploading it. So it does work fine. But yeah, actually I liked having it there. So I was a little disappointed that I had to get rid of that. But I guess that's something to keep in mind when making cafes because I always thought that you know since using move objects cheat to raise it up that it would be fine it wouldn't cause any issues but yeah apparently it just being there even if it's not attached to the surface still causes problems although I don't think yeah you can't actually attach things to that surface because I think that's like the whole spot where they're supposed to put the food for customers to put it pick it up but yeah just having something stuck there even if it's not attached you know just having it there will mess with it um so yeah yeah something to keep in mind but um, anyway that whole little Cafe area is done, so working on the bathrooms, not a whole lot to these. I just kind of quickly shoved in some stuff in here. They both look identical. Um, so yeah, yeah, I just furnished them really, really quickly. So I think we're um, we're just about done with that. Oh, and that one area that's off to the side of the cat play area is like the little litter box room because I would just wanted them to be off to the side because, you know, you don't really want litter boxes out in the open, especially where people are eating food because that's not a really good idea. So I made a room specifically so I could shove those in there and that also worked kind of well as like a little deck area before you go into the apartment but yeah we're just getting started on this area and I actually had several attempts at furnishing this area that I just scrapped because originally I was going to have it just be more cafe type seating but then I realized that if I did that I wouldn't be able to actually fit in cat toys so then you know it wouldn't really be much of a cat cafe in that sense um so yeah and then I also attempted to wear like did it where Half of it was like normal cafe seating and then half of it was a, you know, more open play area, but that wasn't really enough space. So yeah, I just went ahead and just made it all open and that worked out a lot better. Um, so yeah, I also stuck those little poly decals all along the wall. I thought that looked really cute. So here I got some seating. And I also stuck those one by one pillar type things in the middle of the room because I wanted to break things apart a little bit because I felt like it was too open. So I wanted to kind of give the space some separation. So it feels kind of like two different areas if that makes any sense um but yeah we got these rugs in here to make things feel a little cozier getting some paintings up yeah there's you know not really a lot to use but i did have fun furnishing this area yeah so like i said there's not a whole lot in the middle of the room you got some cushions that you could sit on or i guess also the cats could maybe sleep on it too there's actually not a whole lot of cat beds in this build i probably should have put more in but i think i only have one down did i put one upstairs in the no i don't think i put one upstairs in the apartment I'm pretty sure I didn't. I think I forgot to do that, but I mean, they can sleep on couches. I think they can also sleep in those cat trees. So, you know, there's, there's plenty of space for the cats to snooze around in. And I mean, even if you give a cat a cat bed, they're not always going to use it. Cause that's like the case with my cats. Like we have this little cat bed that they can go inside of, but they never actually sleep on it. Like instead they'll sleep on our backpacks or like any clothes they can get on, get a hold of, I guess, cause they just want to be near a sense. So like, you know, it's like, I feel like it's like pointless to even bother getting my cats a cat bed because they probably just not end up using it and just will like try to, you know, because they've, they've actually gotten clothes of mine and then like dragged them onto the floor and then just slept on them <laughs> instead of using their bed. It's like that whole thing where you can get your cat this nice fancy toy, but chances are they're going to be more interested in the box than the toy itself, which is also like a problem I've had. Like they're just obsessed with boxes too and like they'll try to fit in any box even if they don't fit inside of it i actually wanted to make a creative pet of my cats i've been meaning to do that like i meant to do it 
sooner after the release of Cats and Dogs, but then I also wanted to work on builds, and um, I wanted to get that up this week, but I don't think I'm really going to have time to make that this week because I wanted to get another part of the Let's Play up, and I also wanted to get back to my other series that I've going on because it's been a few weeks since few weeks since I've uploaded a part of the Let's Build or the other Let's Play that I'm going on, so I really need to get back to that, but... You know, Thanksgiving is kind of, you know, because it's Thanksgiving in America this week, so it's kind of a busy time, so... Yeah, I don't know, maybe next week I can get that up, because I just I just really want to try to make my cats in Creative Pet, because unfortunately I haven't had a whole lot of time to really mess around with Creative Pets and mess around with the, cre with the um, customization. But yeah, that's definitely a video that I will be making at some point, so of course whenever I do that I'll probably like share a bunch of pictures of my cats and... I also have some funny videos that I've taken of them that I want to just like interject into the video too. Like, um, like I have a video of when I gave my cat Abby a bell collar and she did not like it at all. So every time the bell would jingle, she would just like turn around and snap at it. And of course as she, you know, kept like trying to snap at the bell would jingle more. So she just like kept snapping, trying to snap at the collar repeatedly. But, um, yeah, so I grabbed a video of that. But then of course, after I did that, I did take the bell off the collar because I didn't want to I could tell it was bothering her, so I didn't want to leave that on her. Um, and then I also got a video of her chasing her tail once, which was kind of funny. Just, you know, pictures and stuff of them doing silly stuff. So, yeah, I just want to make a video like that eventually. But, uh, yeah, we're on the apartment right now. So, it's just this very cramped, cozy little apartment. Um, I didn't really have a whole lot of space for a living area. Like, there's not even a TV up here. But you do have a dining chair or, yeah, a dining table with four seats at it. But... I kind of imagine this as being the apartment that belongs to the owner of the cat cafe. Like, I imagined it in my mind as, like, an older woman who maybe has some cats of her own, and then she has these cats who stay here, and they're, you know, for adoption and all of that, st you know, so... Yeah, I tried to put some cat decorations and such throughout this apartment, and, uh, oh yeah, I decided to replace that. I remember that there was that little cat food bag decoration thing, so I decided to stick that down there, so it was just, like, that's a little storage area for the litter box and um I also imagine it's kind of like a room for the cats to get away to too because I imagine that you know constantly being around people could be draining for some cats so I think it's good for them to you know theoretically have space where they could go to to get away from them them and I think that's I mean hopefully that's a place a you know an area that a lot of cat cafes have like I was reading stuff about cat cafes and some of them do have space that the cats can go to where the people can't go to, so they can just kind of get away if they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Because, yeah, I don't think it'd be good for the cats if they had to constantly be around people. Um, but here in the build, I'm almost done with the main area of it, and I found that little male decoration from City Living, so I thought that'd be good to stick on that table near the entrance. So now we're on to the little bedroom area, which is, once again, very cute and cozy and I don't think that bedspread had any maybe it did have some cat related patterns on it that I just forgot about using but yeah I just yeah I just really like that quilted pattern that it has it's just it's just very cozy I feel like like these builds I've been doing with the cats and dogs stuff I feel like I say cozy a lot but I mean it's just the the like general vibe of the furniture that came with this expansion pack is just cozy like it's all just very cozy and homey feeling and that's just, I just like that I just like very cozy feeling spaces like I think that's why I'm not as huge a fan of modern builds or like modern spaces because it just feels colder, less warm, and I just, I don't like big, open, cold, sparsely furnished spaces. I just like cozy, warm colors the most. But yeah, at this point, I'm just about done with the build. We're just kind of finishing up the bedroom here, and then after that, we've got the bathroom up here to work on, and then yeah, that's it. So as usual, if you want to download this, there'll be a link to do so in the description. And I'll have other stuff in there on how to find it in-game. And yeah, that's going to be all for me. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.